Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting system of equations. We have got three equations y plus x equal to 4 plus z, y square minus x square equal to 4 plus z square, and third equation is xyz equal to 6, xyz are real numbers. So let's get started this video by writing equation numbers first. And then I will rearrange equation 1 and 2. I can write 1 as x minus z equal to 4 minus y. And second equation I will write all the variables to one side. So y square minus x square minus z square equal to 4. Now I will consider the first equation x minus z equal to 4 minus y. Now consider squaring both sides. So let me consider whole square, whole square, a minus b whole square. So x square plus z square minus 2xz. And similarly, I will write right hand side 4 square is 16 plus y square minus 8y. Now I will take all the square terms to the right. So I can write y square minus x square minus z square and other terms to one side left hand side so i will write 8y minus 2xz minus 16 equal to this much now you can see your equation 2 it is now we will use so here we can write it is 4 so equation becomes and take minus 16 to the right. So I will write 8y minus 2xz equal to 20. So divide this equation with 2. So I will write 4y minus xz equal to 10 or xz is equal to 4y minus 10. This value I will use in equation number 3. So let us use this equation in equation number 3. Equation 3 is xyz equal to 6 and just we calculated xz is equal to 4y minus 10. Let us apply here. So I will write y times xz. xz is 4y minus 10 equal to 6. Open it 4y square minus 10y minus 6 equal to 0 divide by 2 so 2y square minus 5y minus 3 equal to 0 now i will take shridharachar shridharachar formula y will be equal to minus 5 so minus of minus 5 plus 5 plus minus under the root b square is minus 5 e square 25 minus 4 a c so i will write plus 24 and divided by 4 because a is 2 5 plus minus this will become 7 divided by 4 7 plus 5 12 over 4 3 5 minus 7 minus 2 over 4 so minus 1 by 2 there are two values of y. Now I will frame again one system of equation with respect to y negative half and y 3. Let me consider two cases separately. y is equal to minus half first. And then we will consider y is equal to 3. So let me write for y equal to minus half. Equation 1 will be Equation 1 is y plus x equal to 4 plus z. This is our equation 1 and this is our equation 3. Now I will put y equal to minus half. So minus half plus x equal to 4 plus z. So I can write x minus z is equal to 4 plus half. That means 9 by 2. So I can write x minus z equal to 9 by 2. Now equation number 3. 
x y z equal to six. X y z equal to six. Let us put y equal to minus half. So x z times minus half equal to six. So I can write x z is equal to negative twelve. Now this equation and x minus z is equal to nine by two equation. I will take all together to find out x and z. How it is? From this equation, I will calculate z equal to from here divide both sides with x. So I will write minus twelve over x, and I will put here. So see what will come out. X minus z. So I will write plus twelve over x equal to nine over two. Multiply this equation with x as x is non-zero. X is square plus twelve equal to nine x by two. Multiply with two. So two x is square plus twenty-four equal to nine x. Take all the term to one side. Two x square minus nine x plus twenty-four equal to zero. Let me calculate discriminant. Delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. So b square is 81, and minus 4ac. If you will see, 24 times 4 is 96, and times 2, 192. Conclusion is value is negative. Complex solution will generate. So we will reject ultimately. Y equal to Minus half value, this will be rejected. We cannot accept for real solutions. Now the case of y equal to three, we will take up again y equal to three. Let me write y equal to three, and I will write equation one first. So y plus x equal to four plus z. This is our equation one. Let us put three plus x equal to four plus z. Conclusion is x minus z is equal to one. Come to equation number three. This is our three. Put over there y three. So I will write three x z equal to six, or x z is equal to two. Now same way I will calculate. Z value from this equation. So from this equation, if you will calculate Z, then it will become two over X. And now we will substitute here. So equation will become X minus two over X. This equation equal to one. Multiply this equation with X. So X square minus two equal to X. X square minus X minus two equal to zero. Quadratic equation. Apply Schrodinger formula. Minus b, one plus minus under the root b square one minus four ac eight divided by two. Now one plus minus square root nine is three divided by two. One plus three over two, four over two, two. One minus three over two, minus two over two, minus one. So we have got two values of x, x two and x minus one, with fix y value three. Now only need to find out z value. From where we will calculate z? From this equation, x minus z equal to one. So from there, if I will find out, let me write here y equal to three, x is equal to. Two and minus one, and now equation was z is equal to x minus one. If x is two, then two minus one. If x is minus one, then minus one minus one. So I will write one and minus two z values. So we concluded our answer. As you can see, let me write here x y z equal to. X is two, then y is fixed three. 
z is 1. So I will write first combination first 2 comma 3 comma 1 and second value x is minus 1 y is 3 let me write and z is minus 2. So here we have got our final answer. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget friends to subscribe, like and share. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.